What up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more Pokemon... <laughs> I almost said Pokemon Legends of Arceus. No, welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I am playing the Scarlet version of the game, mainly because it seems like everybody's choosing to play Violet, so I figured why not do the other one and do that for those who are like, I wonder what's any difference between Scarlet and Violet, which I don't think there's a lot other than well, some Pokemon and some colors changes, but... Other than that, there should be all the same. The bright side for me, having to find what kind of Pokemon to catch here and then trade them off to the Pokemon that you're going to get in the other game will probably be easy, but who knows? All right, Nimona, show me the ropes. Show me how to catch these Pokemon, apparently. All right. Show me, show me, show me. Oh, look at all that Pokemon. <laughs> Oh, look at that Pokemon. What is that? Is that a furry ball? It's the path that leads to an adventure for you and me. And here, things are different than in town. You're going to see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be on the path in the grass and such. All right, all right, all right. Get too close to one and you'll have to battle, but you're got spaghetti. Oh, spaghetti. <laughs> I should have probably called it spaghetti <laughs> for that, right? And if you want to try to catch a Pokemon, you got to use a Pokeball. The good old Pokeball. I've got tons, so I have a few. Thank you. You've got five Pokeball. Oh, only five? All right. You know what? Enough to catch our team, basically. You put the Pokeball in your bag, Pokeball's pocket. Okay. Yep, 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 we know about a Pokeball. Now show us so we can then catch our own. Time for some learning by doing. Try battling this, all right, LeChonk. First step, battle it. Second step, throw a Pokeball. And then third step, pray that you catch it. <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, Just pick the ball. No, wait, what, what was that? Oh, we could check our status like that? Okay. Choose the Pokeball and throw. All right. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> didn't have to fight it. Didn't have to do any of that. Does that mean that I keep that Pokemon? Or does it not give me that Pokemon? Because technically that was a catch. LeChonk data has been added to your Pokedex. LeChonk. Oh, yeah. Cool. It's just a given Pokemon right there. All right, then I guess that's my... Well, that doesn't really count, really. Does it count? That was like a given right there. That doesn't count as the first Pokemon I've caught. Although I'm not complaining. Lachonk is cool. Now I go to those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. Yep, I'll... I'm going to build up my team. Don't you worry. And then we're going to actually have a real battle. Let's meet up back in the lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. All right. If your Pokemon are getting tired out, I can heal them for you. Oh, nice. Oh, and if you get real good at catching Pokemon, give me some advice. I'm not a great at actual throw the Pokeball part. All right. Well, now we are free to catch an actual Pokemon. Like I said, LeChonk ain't a bad Pokemon. I kind of like that. But now comes the real part. Time to actually catch and build up my team. Oh, it's a spider. Tarantula? Tarantula? What? Should we just catch it? Let's just do it. We're having good luck right now. And it's got to be a bug, obviously. But maybe something else? Poison type? I'm assuming that. <laughs> Look at the chunk. <laughs> Alright. Yep, it's a bug only. Tarantula's data has been added to the Pokedex. Damn, I gotta say, this Pokedex little thing is pretty cool. I like how it's just books. Oh, Fletchling? What? Come here, you buddy. I'm gonna catch you for sure. And it just runs into a wall. Our first ever bug, is that it? In the game? Just... Alright. I'm gonna keep chucking balls just to see how much I can do that without having to battle. Alright. <laughs> All right, Fletchling is for sure going to be in my team for now. Tarantula and Lechonks, I'm not exactly sure. But Fletchling for sure, because I do want to fly on top. I always want 
flying types. And the fact that this one will eventually get into a fire type, and that's gonna be great. I like how I just try to do a roll, but all I did was just open my map and it's already throwing me off. Pick that up, please. What is that? What are you? Oh, it's you. It's the uh, Burmy? Not Burmy. What am I talking about? Scatterbug. There you go. From X, Y, and Z. The Lu. Not Lumios. Lumios City, obviously, but Kalos region. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen this bug in a long time, too. Actually, to be honest, I haven't even even played that game. That's like one of the few Pokemon games that I haven't played, actually. And I am upset about it because I did miss out on Mega Evolutions when everybody else was basically talking about it. And I was just right there like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, well. All right. I like how they kept the... Uh... Well, they didn't do this on Legend of Arceus, but on... Uh, I know they did it on Sword and Shield and on, um, what's it called? The uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl game. Where you, if you got a lot of Pokemon in your Pokemon box, you can just, anytime, anywhere, choose to open them up and then swap your Pokemon wherever you want to on the fly. Pokemon Legends of Arceus, you couldn't really do that, but I'm glad that they had it right here. Because that makes it much more convenient and easy. Um, hey, Geos, you're getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon, okay? Yep, I already got six. No, seven. Five you've caught. Okay. Oh, I thought, that, <laughs> I thought that was her freaking out, the fact that I caught seven already. Mysterious Cry. Cry before. Could it be the strong Pokemon or something? I say we find whatever we made that cry. Let's take a good look around, Geos. Just be careful, this kind of unsafe cave, not far from here. All right, I know your road time phone, you can keep your safe, but watch your step, these cliffs anyways. All right, time to investigate that sound. Uh, we got an ether, all right. And, come on, potion. <laughs> Hold on, Melina. Um, I know, I know, I know we gotta go investigate, but there's a lot of stuff that's here that's free. All right, I'm coming back. <laughs> As I was saying, um, yeah, I'm kind of glad that they brought back the uh, Pokemon box on the fly. I think we got to go here. Yeah, we got to go here. Um, yeah, it's right here, right? Damn, I barely heard that sound. Oh, that's where the... Uh, what's this Pokemon called? Then I forgot what it's called. The uh, the motorcycle Pokemon, basically. Yo, I'm kind of glad to see these Pokemon are here. What's up, little pups? I'm definitely going to catch you. Was that us falling? Ah, so that's the game's way of telling you if you do fall, you'll be safe because of your phone. How lucky of you. Where was that technology <laughs> in Legends of Arceus? If you fall from a high cliff, you're just dead. <laughs> Sup, little one? Damn, that thing sounds like it's hungry. The mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Feed it some berries. Maybe you can give it something to help it pick her up. Oh, the sandwich? Is that it? Is that the reason why? Let's give him a sandwich. A delicious torta. Come on, buddy. Sandwich will always bring you back up in your feet. It loves it. We are not friends. Because <laughs> that is how Pokemon work, apparently. Alright. Yep, yep, yep. You love the sandwich. You better, because that was my one and only sandwich, my dude. Also, where's, where's, where's the girl? Was she not supposed to investigate with us? Is she not concerned of the fact that we just disappeared that quickly? Uh, 
Alright. So you're telling us to go into that cave. Alright, you better help us go through that cave. Oh, what is it doing? Oh, damn, you see them frame drops? <laughs> oh, I just went to Super Saiyan mode. Is that it? Oh, yeah, it did. It's like, come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Ain't nothing gonna mess with us. <laughs> but wait. All right, here we go. Time to do this. All right. Walk in with this Pokemon, dude. This this so crazy to think about. Like, to run with this Pokemon this early on in the game. I'm trying to think if there's been another Pokemon game like this. Where it's done something like this. But I don't think there has been. Well, Sun and Moon sort of had Nebby, but... That wasn't necessarily with us. That was mostly with Lily, if I remember the character's name. But here, this one is with us. You know? There you go, Geos. You okay? You're not hurt, right? You don't see this Pokemon with me right now? I'm managing. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Thank goodness I was really worried. All right. If you got hurt because I said we should go looking for whatever made that cry. No, never mind that. Right now we got to focus on getting back here. Just got to find some way to climb out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling you up. Yep. She, does she really not see this Pokemon right here? Also, look at this stuff. Oh, damn. That's kind of crazy. I, I was not expecting the camera to do that. Like the camera just auto focus on it. Seem, I can't seem to like pass this Pokemon, which is crazy. Oh. Oh, okay. There's a. That's a lot of dogs. Can I at least like catch one of them? Come on, man. You didn't need to scare them all. I gotta get this Pokeball. Hey, heads up, some pretty rough and rowdy Pokemon. Okay, I'm glad you're gonna be okay, but watch your back, you're strong. Oh, so she does see the Pokemon, okay. I kinda like that. I kinda like how like the camera zooms in. Alright, man. I was afraid he was about to freeze right there. Polarize that rock, how powerful is he? I wonder the move best. Man, I okay, that was just rock smash. Something's coming. What's coming? Is it something that I can catch? Yes, it is. <laughs> Come here, you buddy. You're going to be part of my team. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh, wait. I have spaghetti. <laughs> that Pokemon's grass. And this one's fire. Oh, and it's a level 42. What kind of a bull is that? Come on now. Oh, that thing just hits it's like, should I save him? Should I save him? He did give me that sandwich. <laughs> and it was delicious. Man, what are those little dogs gonna do to something that big? Oh my gosh, how many are there? It's like a damn mass outbreak. Alright, alright. Some epic moments. Epic anime moment right here. Minus the frame drops. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. I was totally not expecting something like that to happen. Did you see that? <laughs> My character's just flipping out like that. Way to go for a second, I thought you were both goners. 
With something like this? I don't think so. Even though that thing was a little 40, my gosh. Was not, I was not expecting that to be a level 40. Oh, what's wrong? He needs another sandwich, man. Quickly go home and make one. Maybe he used up all his power. What is this Pokemon anyway? Kind of looks like a cyclist or what? A cyclizer. But I've never seen one quite like this before. And now it looks so different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? It just reverted back to its normal form. Hard to say. You can't tell either, huh, Geos? You know, that battle down there was really something. You and this fellow looked perfectly in sync facing down that Hound Doom. Yeah, I didn't do Jack. What did you do? I, I don't know, man. It's not like you for this Pokemon trainer yet, huh? Oh, good. Looks like it's perked up a little. Do you think this fella was one making that mysterious cry when we heard before? Yep, it was. It was calling out for help. It was calling out for someone to give him a food. And we delivered with the best food of all. Sandwich. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. They're... The more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. Could you just take out your phone and take a picture and have the Pokedex tell you? I mean, is that is it should be that easy, right? If you do become his trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. Let's exchange numbers so we can get in touch if we have somehow to separate again. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's sort of like um, what game did that, where there was like a Poke phone or something added like that, and randomly you will get messages from trainers that. You supposedly got their phone number. I think it was like what? Crystal? No, not Crystal. Uh Pokemon Gold, I believe. I don't that the old Pokemon games though, like very old. 8 bit era. I'm trying to remember though. I remember seeing it and thinking to myself, well, that's kinda interesting. In here, let's see oh, let us teach your Pokemon a move to help it battle strong opponents. Swift. Nice. I would prefer False Swipe. So that I can catch Pokemon easier, but that's that's good too. Think before you use it though, TMs can only be used once. Oh, really? They're reverting back to that? Oh, that's lame. Hmm, but there's probably good there's probably a good reason for that. Alright, take a breather. Let's just relax at the lighthouse. We'll be good to Okay, yep, alright. How are you doing, buddy? Why, that little... What little? What, what are you doing out here? Does he know what this Pokemon is? Who is this guy anyways? I forgot his name already. I know I know they introduced this character already through the uh, trailers and whatnot, but I forgot already. You can shove off. <laughs> wow. Wait, I know you. you aren't you Arvin? You're enrolled in the Humanities track, right? And aren't you the son of that Pokemon research professor, Sada? I almost say Soda. Doesn't matter who my mom is. And what is it with this form it's in? I met it in the bottom of the cliff. I, okay, it saved me from a tight spot. I met it in the bottom of the cliff. It doesn't need to know that it saved me, right? We can keep that to ourselves. See, we heard this strange cry. And we tried to investigate, but Geos fell off the cliff. So you did know we fall off the cliff. That Pokemon saved them. Oh, why'd you have to tell him that? But it seemed like the whole thing itself. Oh. Looked like it wore itself out in the process. It got kind of slumpy afterwards. You should have seen it before. It looked totally different. It went Super Saiyan. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be, but it can't fight while it's like this. The form Coridon. There it is. That's the name. Coridon takes in battle, that's its true form. Coridon? Is that the Pokemon's name? How did you know? Yeah, how did you know, buddy? Tell us, come on. You can't go in the lab, it's locked. Oh, okay. I don't remember even seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy too. Do you? Coridon is in sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's especially... Oh, it's special. 
special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? Is this the same Pokemon as, um, what's that Pokemon from Sun and Moon called? Uh, oh, wow, I forgot the name of it. Uh, Null, type Null, there you go. Think you're up to the ordinary Cryodon? Uh, you think you're up to ordering Cryodon? Wow, I'm already starting to not be able to say the name right. And how about I test your worthiness? Sure, why not? Let's see. Well, look at you, quite little go-getter. All right, so dude wants to battle, so we can see if we can actually go on a journey with Crydon, basically. <laughs> Crydon, Crydon. These memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth. I want it gone. Well, listen here, buddy. I'm gonna win this battle. That Pokemon's gonna come with me, and we're gonna go and catch a lot of Pokemon, and hopefully have a great time. <laughs> Maybe eat some more sandwiches along the way. Oh, dang, that fucking was just flinching. I forgot that bike can do that. Dun, 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 dun. Lechonk learned something. Fletchling learned quick attack. Good job, Fletchling. He only had one Pokemon? Really? I thought he would have like at least two. With all his talking and whatnot, seems you know a thing or two about battling. Here's three dollars. Damn. <laughs> Can you imagine doing that? Like, imagine battling somebody when you get your ass handed to you. <laughs> you gotta like hand them like three bucks. Like, damn it. Wow, Geos, that was awesome. I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I only caught just now. Okay. All right, excuse. But if you really think you can take on Coridon of my hands for me, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that Brutes been keeping, or Brutes been kept in. Is that the name, Brutes? Put Coridon Pokeball in your best key item pocket. Serious Pokemon known as Coridon. A boy named Arvin gave it to you. So why'd you have it? It's a type null situation, isn't it? Anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. What? Oye, can you not hear me or anything? Fine, be that way, but you better actually show up for school. What a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that, that felt like a type null situation where it's been on a lab. And now it's like this weird thing. Although Type Null was like, if I remember correctly, created for the purpose of battling Ultra Beast. And this one, I have no idea, obviously, but may who knows? It might be the same thing. That Irvine guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time he and I are battling, I'm going to win or wring some answers out of him. But all right, we got to climb the lighthouse. That way we can show you the view of our school. All right, well, just like that, we got Coridon. That's crazy to think about. Like, here's this Pokemon. It's a legendary. And now it's yours. Have fun. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, we're just up here. Okay. Look, Geo. That's Mizagoza. I almost said that wrong. Oh, you see that? And it's beautiful texture. <laughs> Detailed graphics. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's hilarious. And that huge building with the Pokeball on it. It's our school. Ain't it beautiful? Yeah. 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 It's going to be the greatest. It's going to be so great having you in the same class, Geos. I'm looking forward to it. Are you just saying that because now I got this huge ass Pokemon with me? Right. I can't wait to get back. We're gonna get to learn so much and battle so, so much. Isn't it awesome that you can see from up here? Yeah, I can see all that missing texture. <laughs> Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature stuff, as far as the eye can see. 
And you know what's waiting for you all over there? That natural space? Tons and tons of bugs and glitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't wait to see because I've already seen I've already seen some clips of like the game breaking so I don't know what's gonna happen for me, but that thing's gonna be hilarious Consider this me you're officially telling you welcome to Paldea We just moved in from here too like does the game eventually tell us from where we came from or what region or something like that? But anyway, like you can see it's kind of a high to get to school from here yeah, luckily we got this Pokemon. Let's make it to Los Platos for starters. That's right on the way. Los Platos, we finally made it. Jails over here. What took you so long, man? It's only like a five minute journey. And you were gone for like an hour. <laughs> like I imagine that's what she's saying because of the fact that I took a detour and spent so much time Battling and catching all those Pokemon right there. I've, I'm pretty sure I've got like at least 10 Pokemon now, which is kind of funny This here is a Pokemon Center You can come here to take care of a lot of things related to your Pokemon But I'll have I'll leave the explanation to the pros here Happy to be of service and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy for free Sup here are my oh here on my left is a Pokemon counter you can buy things like Pokeballs and potions. Sup. We accept payment both in cash and in LP league points. This is one LP is worth one. Or that is, one LP is worth one dollar. And to my right is the technical machine, TM machine for short. It's your trick or your ticket to making TMs, which you can use to teach moves to your Pokemon. You'll need to pay the LP and supply the machine with materials that Pokemon drop. Oh, okay. LP comes in handy both at these machines and at the store. I've got a lot here. Have some. So, store credit. 5,000! What?! Damn, that's too generous right there. Oh yeah, and some of those too. Or some of these. Material from Nimona. And at the Union Circle, you can connect with other trainers to find yourself some adventuring companions. Come visit us at the Pokemon Center anytime you need any help. We will. Thanks. Alright. Remember, had a rough adventure, get to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know this sort of stuff for your quizzes at school. But... Mnemonics helps. Okay, but mnemonic help out. Here's another one. Are you ready? Then let's go. Are you ready? Then let's go. Goofy, sure, but it helps you remember that you can send your lead Pokemon out with the... Oh, okay. That way you can have your Pokemon that's walking with you pick up any items laying around or go to battle on its own. Okay, that's kind of cool. The let's go function. This is the thing that I remember reading about. Press the R button. It's quick. Oh, it's a quick and easy way to tell your lead Pokemon. All right, buddy, let's go. Once you give in to go ahead, your Pokemon will set out on its own to battle nearby Pokemon or pick up items it finds in the area. When your Pokemon is low on energy, which happens when its HP is low, it won't be able to go exploring on its own. So if your Pokemon gets weak, try to heal it up before you do that. Basically, when your Pokemon starts a battle. Oh, starts a battle while exploring on its own, you won't need to give any orders. You can't battle on its own with auto battle, meaning you can keep searching the area for new discoveries while watching over it from nearby. <laughs> okay, auto battles will be decided by the strength and the type of the Pokemon taking part in the battle. So keep that in mind when you're choosing which of your Pokemon to send out on its own. Okay, that's kind of interesting. See, that's the thing that I was very confused about when I read about it, where auto battles was a thing that they did show on one of the trailers, but the whole idea of, like, type advantage and whatnot in levels was kind of confusing, but from there it seems very simple now. Oh, by the way, did you know? Did you know? When you're feeling lost, when you don't know where to go next, you can ask for help at any Pokemon Center. The staff there can give you tips about where you might want to try. Plus, they'll register their suggested destination on your Pokemon phone for you. Or did you already know that? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Well, I do hope my little tidbits come in handy. 
Come back and see us again whenever you need. Now time to go. Once we leave Los Platos, we'll hit to the best known spot in the South Providence. Province. Area 1, a massive hill on the way to school. You usually find trainers there who are just itching to battle. Good luck. Oh, we're going to battle them so we can get that money. Been having some nice battles. Hello there, I am the Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice Pokemon battles? Well, good news. If you can defeat four trainers here in the Area 1 in South Province, there's a lovely prize with your name on it. So far, you defeated four trainers. <laughs> here in Area 1. On behalf of the Pokemon League, here's your lovely prize. Thunder Wave. Hey, that's kind of cool. We're holding this challenge for other areas around Paldea, too. Stop by and try them. All right, thank you. That's kind of funny. It's a big door. Did you battle some trainers on the hill? Bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you show me how much you all learn a little bit? I don't know. I mean, we're going to be late for school. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nothing like having a friend around. Come on, Geos, let's have some fruitful battles. I'm going to battle you, and I'm going to win, and we're going to be late for school, but you know what? That's fine. That's pretty much me when I was in high school. <laughs> oh, my God. I was late to school so much. Uh, Don't be doing that, okay? Seem like getting better at this, so I'm coming with you two Pokemon this time. What? Can I? Oh, I thought she was gonna have like two fighting against one. You know, two we won. Super effective. Oh, I should have done bite. That way you can flinch, hopefully, and then I can just follow up with leafage. Work up. Hmm, what does work up do? Attack Rose, alright. Special attack too. Let's do Leafish. I was kind of hoping, well, I was kind of hoping, I should say, that they added that, or not added, but kept that thing from Legend of Arceus where whenever they do something like that and their defense goes up or attack goes up, a little indicator pops up in their name. Um, let's, let's, let's switch a Pokemon. Um, I don't know what Pokemon she's sending out, so... Let's go with uh, Magikarp? No, you know what? Let's just stay with this one for now. Doing even better than I expected. You're legit, Geos. Let's go with Bite, and then follow it up with Leafage. Ace in the hole? What are you going to do? Oh, I know what she's going to do. Yeah, she's going to do that. She's crystallizing the Pokemon. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that effect. Although I do have to say that's kind of messed up. You're pulling out something that I can't even do myself, so that's technically cheating. It gives the boom. Okay, yep, yep, totally, totally legit right there. It's not like I can do that, you know? Show off. <laughs> but no, that's actually kind of cool. Terrestrializing gives the real boost. See, even when the boosts are very effective. Okay. So I may not be able to move. That's understandable. Hopefully, hopefully we don't faint here. Oh, okay. It's not very effective, but it's, it is doing damage. So that does mean that that one is electric. Good to know. Fleshling leveled up and Hoppet leveled up and they both learned a new attack. How great. All right, Nimona, you brought out your good tactics right there, but clearly I'm still better. <laughs> so at this moment, she's like, this this person's going to be a problem. Oh, no. Oh, no. Amazing. Look at you. Taking on a terrestrialized proponent and winning, no problem. I didn't even know what that was until now. Should be more amazed. Come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize your Pokemon yet, huh? 
Don't worry, I'll get you. I'll, I'll I'll get you take care of. You're so good with Pokemon battles. I forgot how new you are and stuff. Anyways, it was fun to battle you. Here, have some revives. As thanks. That's three. That's three. So I have got like what seven now, I believe. Now, Mezagoza is waiting just beyond its gate. At last, the city where our school is. Are you ready? Are you ready for the stress that school can give? <laughs> There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm gonna take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon. So you just go on ahead, get lost if you need to, and then we'll meet at school. It's not gonna be a cutscene, right? Yep, there's a cutscene. Dun, 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 dun. Your new adventure starts right here at a school in town. There's a vending machine right there. Okay, okay, tell me more. What do you want to see first, Geos? A hair salon, tasty food. Uh, uh, I do like food. I didn't have you beg for a big eater. Did you not hear me like go into detail about how much I love some sandwiches? Or did you forget? Well, that's smart. You can battle with your hungry tummy, right? Oh, and speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too, Geos. There's a few things I gotta go get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. So you're gonna put in a good word for me? Thank you, thank you. Meanwhile, you just have fun, look around the city a bit. All right, cool. There's so much to do. Grab a bite, buy some accessories to spice up your uniform. You want to get personal, oh, you want my personal recommendations, you gotta see Deli Bird presents. They're so handy. They sell handy items for, okay, cool. Oh, Pokemon items to hold. That is a good thing. I almost forgot about that. Once you've seen your fill, we can meet up again in front of the school. Just be ready. The stairs up to the school are no joke. Later then, get pumped for some terrestrialization. Alright, y'all. That's going to be it for the video right there. So far, I'm enjoying this game. I like the fact that you're able to just technically go about in this open world. Because between that tower and Los Platos, I did kind of do that, where I just took a right turn <laughs> and was surprised to be like, oh, I can actually keep going. Oh my gosh. And I ended up catching some Pokemon and seeing some Pokemon that I was not expecting to see here. So that's pretty cool, which means you could technically do that if you want. Like I caught so many Pokemon already and I haven't even like, I haven't even built my Pokemon team yet. I, I still got to do that. Like that's kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, there is something that I do have to say, and I am very happy the fact that they kept the Pokemon box mechanic here. For those who have never played Pokemon back in the day, in order for you to trade a Pokemon from your Pokemon box to your party, you always have to go to a Pokemon Center and then boot up a PC and then move your Pokemon from there. But ever since, what, XY? No, not XY. Which Pokemon was it that did that? It's um, Sword and Shield, right? Was it Sword and Shield? I don't remember, but they did add that whole, like, you can just move whatever Pokemon you want to your party wherever you want because it's right there. You have it in your menus, the Pokemon box stuff. So I'm very happy for them to actually bring that back. And I say that because in Legends of Arceus, that was not an option. But, you know, I'm very happy that it's back here in the game. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, though, I'm very, very excited to keep on playing this. Looking forward to see what this game actually has in store, especially now that we've got the legendary Pokemon, the Crydon, basically, Coridon, I should say. And yeah. So with that being said, I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, be sure to subscribe for more. And yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Laters.